In this video, we will be evaluating the integral from the 2023 MIT integration B. So now let's see here. So the integral from 0 to 4. So x choose 5. So on top, that's x factorial. So the bottom, so 5 factorial. Then x minus 5 factorial. So then let's simplify. Then here, x factorial. So we want to cancel out the x minus 5 factorial. So on top, so that will be x times x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, then x minus 4. Then x minus 5 factorial. Cancel out the 1 on the bottom. So then the bottom just 5 factorial then dx. So next, we're going to set a new variable. So we're going to let the new variable equals the middle term, this one. Okay, so we're going to set a new variable t equals x minus 2. Then solve for x. Then x equals t plus 2. Then here dx just dt. Okay, so now let's see the lower limit and upper limit for t. So when x equals the lower limit 0, now let's see what's the t. So then put here, t minus 2, so that's negative 2. So when the x is uh, 4, then put here 4 minus 2, so that's uh, positive 2. So now let's continue this uh, equal sign. So then first, let's take out the con constant outside. So then here we have 1 over factorial. Then here, so the lower bound negative 2, the upper bound 2. Okay, so then is x equal t plus 2 to replace all the x in the expression. So then the first one is t plus 2. So here we have t plus 2, next one, t plus 1. Next is a t, then t minus 1, then t minus 2, dt. Okay, so next, we're going to combine these two together. Then these two combine together. Okay, so then we have the following. Then here, so these two times together, that's uh, t squared minus 4. Then these two times together, that is a t squared minus 1. Then put the t here, and dt. Okay, so now let's see here. So this one, t squared minus 4, that is even function. t squared minus 1 is also even function. Then t, this one is an odd function. So then even times even times odd, so the overall is an, is an odd function. So now let's look at the interval from negative 2 to 2. So this interval is a symmetric about 0. So then the integral of an odd function over the interval symmetric about 0 is 0. So that's why the answer is 0. So 0 is the answer for this integral. Thanks for watching. See you next time.